What's up guys, it's ZZ, and in light of the new trailer that came out, I decided to do more Attack on Titan related stuff. So I'm just starting off pretty simple with a, uh, a character tier list. So I got this tier list up here. I didn't make this one, I uh, you know got it from the, the tier list website, but... I, you know, might as well just like, you know, start it off with the tier list. So I'm going to be doing, a, I'm going to be trying to do a whole bunch of Attack on Titan videos before the, the season comes out. And then I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of reactions to it. And then I want, uh, I want to know if you guys, I have a whole bunch of friends that also watch Attack on Titan. And I want to know if you guys want me to record with them or just on my own. Because I can do either one of them. You know, Ryan's my brother. Um, got a whole bunch of other people that, you know, watch Attack on Titan and love Attack on Titan. Just the same as me. So if you guys want to see us react together or if me do solo, just let me know in the comments comments below and let's get into it. All right, so I made a um, I made a new uh, tier here because I was looking at this list a little bit beforehand and there's some people in here I've I swear I've never seen in my life. So I made a who 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 TF is this because wow, I don't know if I've ever seen them them in my life. So we're going to start off with uh, Zachary. Let's go. My boy Zachary. You know, I think he's in a, a D tier. I see this dude's creepy. This dude is is so creepy. He made that like I was I think it was the machine where it was like you eat your own like feces. It was disgusting. It was so disgusting. But he was kind of funny. I was kind of funny. I don't know. I I gotta put him in D tier just because like he wasn't in here much. You know when he was in there he was fine. I know some people hated the dude, but I was I was fine with him. D tier. I mean he was there. He just appeared and then got blown up. So I mean what else can you say about him? This dude. This dude. I've never seen him in my entire life. Don't know who that guy is. So, yeah. There you go. All right, Pixis, my boy. My boy, I love Pixis. Um, I'm going to have to put him in, trying to decide between B or A. Uh, I'm going to go B, just because I love my boy. And season four nearly put, put me, had, had me put him in A tier. Just because, dude, he was he was a badass in season four. My dude was lit as hell. But he just isn't around much, you know? Like... If he was around a little bit more, I think it, I would put him in A. Um, probably not S, just because, you know, his role doesn't allow him to be super insanely cool. But Season 4 bumped him up a bit. Um, I always liked him in Season 1. He didn't appear much throughout Season 2 and Season 3. But Season 1, Season 4, he he was a gangster. He was a gangster. Now, Horse Dude. I forgot what this guy's name was, but he was cool. So, but he only appeared for, like, an episode. I'm gonna go E. I can't, I don't hate him. I love the dude. I think he's awesome, you know, but he was only there for like three episodes and then got stomped by Annie. So what, what can you do, you know? And then Armin, my boy, first S tier. Love that dude. Love him. You know, I have a confession to make actually. In season one, actually, I hated Armin. I thought he was like, I mean, it was a tough situation, you know, but he was just like, I swear he couldn't do anything. My boy was just oh my god he kind of annoyed me but dude i mean after after season four after he turned into the colossal titan i think anything lower than s is just blasphemy like oh that was just peak peak armin right there it was beautiful and then bertold my boy mm, bertold man i love you there's not really many characters i hate in this show bertold's a b that might be a little high for some people but Season 3 Part 2 just made me like him so much more. And Season 4, I, dude, I just feel so bad for my dude, bro. He was just, you can tell he was just so insecure. My boy literally was just a walking simp for three and a half seasons. Or no, two and a half seasons. And then Season 3 Part 2, ah, he was a gangster then. But, oh my god, he was literally a walking simp. But, love him. He was cool. Yeah, he had his moments. So, B tier is warranted. Alright, this guy. Uh, is this... I think this was one of the dudes on Levi's squad. E. I don't know. He was there. And then he wasn't. I think he got stomped by Annie as well. I think, no. I think Annie, I think that was the one that Annie sliced um, before she turned back into the female titan. So, he got collapsed. Who cares, you know? But I don't hate him. So, not enough. Aaron. That's not even a question. That's not even a question. My boy. Hard carry. Actually, no, no. Not a hard carry. But, man, he he's a legend. He's why I watch the show. If he, if he wasn't there, the show would not happen. The dude's a beast. I know he has some questionable motives. Season 4, you know, people were like, Oh, I don't know, I don't know. But even then, even if you don't agree with the dude, you gotta admit that he's just so captivating. You know, like, you don't agree with his plan, the Jaegerist, whatever. I mean, he probably doesn't even agree with the Jaegerist themselves. He's just, he's just doing his own thing, and Flock is like, You know what? I love you, bro. You know, he's full homo. You know, no... <laughs> Not no homo, dude. He's full homo for, for Aaron. And hey, I mean, the dude's a beast. So, can you blame him, Erwin? 
Also not a question. The dude, the dude carried season two and season three. I mean, his speech before he died is just, I watched that to get motivated, you know, like I literally listened to that while working out and I'm just like, <laughs> dude, it, it, it gets you going, dude. It gets you going. And when his arm got bitten, nothing better than the dude. So I think that's just, that's non-debatable. Erwin, it should be in everyone's S, S tier. All right, flock, flock, flock. This one's gonna be a little controversial. Dude's an idiot. He's so dumb. And if it, if if season four did not come out, easily F tier, easily. I love Erwin, but when he was talking trash to my boy Armin in front of Aaron and Mikasa on the roof, man, I. He was easily my most hated character. But season four, just that one scene in the restaurant when he turned and did the look, that was awesome. That was, mm, I gotta drop him down to B. Cause he's only had really one good moment that I liked. And then after that, I mean, he's, you know, it's a, a huge follower of Aaron, which is cool. That's fine, you know, but like, that's really, he's a one trick pony. But that one trick is pretty sick, personally. I know that might be a little controversial, but I, I like the dude. So what, what, what can I say? What can I say? Who the fuck is this guy? What the? I don't even know that dude either. Hanji. This also might be a little controversial, but I'm not putting her in S tier. I'm going to put her in A tier. Now, I get it. You know, Hanji's really cool and stuff. And season four, I mean, I was so back and forth with her. Because, like, there'd be times where I was, like, like when she was sitting in, like, the like office alone after Flock left. And she was just kind of, like, you know, getting in her feels and stuff. Dude, I, f I feel for her. She's cool. But I think she's a little overhyped sometimes just because I love, you know, she's, she's my girl, but I don't know. It's just, it's something. I think she's a little too quirky for me. But if that, if, if she's in your S tier, that's fine. That's fine. But A tier, still very high praise. She's awesome. Love her. You know, she's so cool. So yeah, that's good. Hans. I forgot his name there for a second. Oh my god. B tier. Easily. You know, he wasn't in the show much, but whenever he was, he was cool. You know, he was, he was a good dude. There's not really much else to say, honestly. Historia. Now, I know if this was Ryan doing it, he'd have him in S tier, or have her in S tier, easily. Whenever she has her moments, she has her moments, you know, like, she's sick. She just hasn't had much of them. You know, she's, she wasn't in season four much at all. She just got pregnant and left, you know? But I don't feel like she's in the same tier as these three, you know? She's good. She's great. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put her in A. I love Historia. And I know Ryan's gonna get mad at me, dude. Ryan's gonna get mad at me for putting her in, in not in S tier. But she just, she hasn't had her big moments. You know, like Hanji, Hanji, she's been there, she's been around, but she hasn't had much big moments. Even her big moments, I just, I haven't really cared for as much. I really care about Historia's big moments, but they're just not much of them. So, I mean, what else can I say? She's, she's sick. No, she's my girl. But yeah, that's basically it. I forgot this person's name. I gotta be real. But she's the person that, like, is guarding Annie in season four and was, you know, uh, Marlo's, you know, crush or whatever. I did not like her in past seasons, but I feel like her role in season four, she was just kind of there. She showed up. She was chill. Bumped her up to, to C tier. I'm not the biggest fan, but she was, she did her part. She was cool. And, uh, but she was only there for, like, a scene in season four. So she saw Zachary blow up. That's basically it. Also forgot her name, but she deserves an A tier because she, she was, I think was, she was Pixis's, like, right hand woman, you know, that would just, like, you know, get him drinks or whatever. And she never annoyed me. She was just kind of there, appeared in, like, three scenes. Maybe it was in there for season four, like, once. Yeah, I think that's it. John. I hated him in season one, but he's a, he's an easy S tier for me. The dude, I think literally if there if Aaron wasn't the main character, John had to be the main character because like he, he felt like he played off Aaron so much. Because in season one, I mean they were like John was a little annoying ass bitch, Aaron was a little annoying ass bitch, but they're annoying in different ways. It's just kind of weird. But season four. Um, I really, I think the moment that elevated him to S tier status is when he, when they were all in the cell in season four and he started talking about like, Aaron's got to be doing this for a reason. He's got to be doing this for a reason. And it's just like, that shows how smart he is. He's a smart guy. He knows. I mean, as a, as a watcher, you can tell that Aaron is like doing all the things in season four for like a weird reason, but no one connects it except for John. So S tier easily. Another good one, but I mean, she's, she hasn't been there for like three seasons. I feel like she could get bumped up to A or S tier in season four, part two. If she has a major role, which I feel like she will because they've just been teasing her for it's literally been more than a year now. So, um, B tier, I mean, she was awesome when she was there. She was sick. Um, well, she didn't do much. You know, her female Titan was sick. Easily, honestly, I feel like she's the most skilled out of anyone. But so far, right now, just a B tier. This dude, definitely idea this dude i think i recognize him but no i have no idea who that is this person also forgot her name i think her, her 
I, her name, Coven. Coven. I always remember that because someone on her squad yells out Coven when the cave is caving in. And I always think it's like a play on Caven. So I, I always laugh at that part, but I hate this bitch, bro. Enough said. Dude, she's annoying. She does not deserve to be on Kenny's squad. All right, this dude. Keith Shady's D tier. And that's, that's not saying he's bad. He's just, he's only been there for like three episodes. But the episodes my boy has been, actually, I gotta bump him up to C, dude. Every single time he's on screen, I love him. He reminds me of Snape from Harry Potter because he, you know, he hated Harry. I mean, yeah, like Snape hated Harry because uh, Harry reminded him of his mom and Keith hated Aaron, or I don't know if he hated Aaron, but Aaron reminded him of his, of his mom, who he was also in love with. It's just like, dude, it's Snape. I love Snape, so that would make sense, you know. Connie, also an A. You know, he doesn't do a lot. You know, he's kind of useless. I call him, uh, I call him Aang.5 because he, you know, he's kind of bald and it's short, so I, I always think of Aang whenever I see him. But he doesn't do much. You know, he's, he's not an avatar, so can't be super useful. <laughs> I forgot this guy's name too, but I do recognize him and I hate him. He was the guy in season one when like, uh, Keith, wait, uh, Pixis was talking on the wall and he was like, no, I can't do anything. Stupid ass motherfucker, dude. I hate this dude. This guy is so annoying. Kenny, you know, I actually know some people that don't like him, but he's an easy B tier. No, oh, he's just not there much. I'm going to put him in C just because, no, I got to put him in B. I got to put him in B. Just because the impact he made on the show, I don't think anyone else will make. Because literally, his words when he's talking to Levi, where it's like everyone's drunk on something, that is a perfect embodiment of the entire show. He's important. Kenny is more important than anybody realizes. This dude, forgot his name too, but I hated him. Season one, he wanted to kill Aaron. I hated that dude, bro. That dude was so annoying. All right, Levi. I think everyone knows what tier he's in. But if there was like an order to this or something like that, there this is in no order. I'd probably put him at the bottom of S tier because I love the dude. I just think he gets a little bit too much hype sometimes. And I'm actually, I can't say this, but in the new season, he, he's either dead or, or like crippled. And I think it'll make it more interesting because I love, I love his fights. He's so sick, you know, you know, he can beat anyone ever you know it took zeke nearly killing himself to beat him and he didn't even fully beat him because he still could be alive so it's it's weird but the dude's a beast it just makes it a little repetitive sometimes and i think it'd be more interesting when other people take the throne you know like maybe mikasa but i don't think she i don't think mikasa can beat everyone so i love him but i definitely put him on the lower side of this marco he's d d tier he's fine everyone loves him I was fine with him, and when he died, I was like, yo, rip bozo, you know, I I, I didn't really care, I was just like, oh, whoops, it's more for John's development, which is why he's S tier right now, I love the dude, you know, but other than that, Marco's just kind of there, not much more to that. Fuck is that dude? Don't know. Marlo, Marlo's a C, and that's praise, that's high praise, because, I mean, he was there season one and season three part two, but his moment in season three part two was one of the greatest things ever so easy see see if he was there for like maybe a little bit in season three part one he could easily be b but see just because he was not there much, that much mike very controversial d i don't like mike even when he was there i felt bad for the dude when he when he got killed by by zeke but i think zeke is way better of a character than mike was so i don't care I, that was one of my favorite scenes that made me love zeke honestly not because i hated mike so much it's just because like yo that was sick that was dope as hell so i mean what the hell he's not that good he was good at fighting who cares? That's, that's my personal take on him. I know it's a little controversial. Mikasa, I have a little personal bias just because she was my favorite character for a little while, but S tier. She's sick. She hasn't been playing as much of a role, which I'm a little sad about in the later seasons, but she's getting more important in season four. So I have a feeling she'll be really important in the, in the, in the final stretch, but she's sick. Not much else to it. Mina, I remember her name because I, she was a knockoff Mikasa. Um, she's E. She's fine. She was there for like two episodes and then died by some random ass titan. Who cares? This person, I'm actually okay with her. There's another person that looks like her that I hate. Rico. Fucking hate Rico. Easily my least favorite character in, character in the show. Cannot stand her. But her? Easy. She was cool when she was in it. She was a little annoying sometimes, but... Ulo. Uldo, I think is what this guy's name was. Easily F. Stop biting your tongue. Stupid ass bitch. I was so stupid, bro. I hated him. Petra. Almost forgot her name for a second. She's D. Just because she wasn't there much, but she was awesome when she was, you know, Bay, Bay AF. So Reiner, my boy, easily S. Yes. Especially after season four. It, he is main character too. Again, okay, so I was saying how John could also be a main character. Reiner would also take the cake for another main character if they were showing it from like Marley's perspective. Oh my God. 
It's so awesome. The dude, I feel so bad for him. And the, the scene when it's showing their perspective as they're breaking into the wall gave me, it literally like shook my body. It gave me so many chills. So the show wouldn't be the same without him. Love Reiner. I know a lot of people that hate him and I don't understand why. The dude's just struggling and dude, I feel for him, bro. Now, I don't know if this is Rod Reese or Rod Reese's Titan. Because if it was Rod Reese's Titan, I'd probably put it in like F tier because it's like, okay. But if it's, I'm gonna go Rod Reese, and I'd put him in E tier, just because he was annoying. He was really annoying. But when Historia finally killed him, and it showed like how he was also fighting to get the, you know, the Founding Titan to use its power and control the Titans and stuff, I felt for him. I felt, I, I kind of felt bad for him. You know, he was trying. He was just extremely flawed. E, e tiers, E tiers, the, the spot for him. Sasha, at least an A. If people put her below A, they're wrong. Cause dude, Sasha, he's arguably best girl, you know? She's she's sick AF. Um, as uh, Season 4, I would, like, if it was just Season 4, Sasha, I don't know. She might be an S tier. Because she's sick. But she just doesn't do a lot, you know? She's good at what she does. You know, she hears well. She's a hunter or whatever. But that's really it. But her impact in Season 4 is so strong when she dies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move her up to S. I know, I'm a little, I'm a little generous with it. But she's so awesome, bro. There's not really much else to say. Now this one, I don't know if it's the Smiling Titan or if it's Dina. But if it's, I'm gonna go with both, honestly. And... Honestly, I'm going to put her in C tier just because of how much, literally every single scene that has her in it, some of the best scenes in the show. You know, Aaron's mom being eaten, awesome. It's not awesome, but you, you know what I mean. Her getting kicked off the wall and getting turned into a titan, awesome. So cool. And then her walking past Bertolt, awesome. Literally the best scenes. And it's like, whenever you see the smiling titan, it's just like, holy shit, this is a big moment. This dude... Um, I think his name was Thomas or something. Yeah, he's fine. And then I'm, I'm noticing that there's a lot of people missing. Like, a, a lot of the Marley people missing. So I'm gonna have to go to another, uh, another tier list and update it. So, I'll go there. Alright, so there's Ymir. Um, this one's also gonna be super controversial. E. I don't like her. I hate Ymir. The only reason I don't put her in F tier is because she, like, it has, like, some cool moments. I th I just think she's annoying. Like, oh my, she is so entitled. It's not even funny. It's just awful. Don't like her. E tier. All right, so I'm on a new a new tier list because they're missing some. Um, and there's a, a couple new people here from like not season four. Um, so I'm just gonna list those really quick. This is the bitch I was talking about, Rico. F tier, worst character in the show. Hate her. I know she had like her moment where she was just, she was a hater, bro. She hated Aaron. Girl, home girl needed to chill out, dude. So yeah, I I do not like her. Worst character. This dude. I think this was this guy was like um this guy's dad or something. He owned like a business. I remember he was a hater in season one. Didn't let Mikasa like put out the thing until she threatened to kill him. So, I mean he's he's fine. I don't care. But I just see him like in like two scenes and then he get his neck slit by Kenny. So who cares, you know? This dude, his son. Uh, he was lit. So I mean he wasn't there for much, but I loved him when he was there. So D tier. Carla. I mean. I love her, but just like that other dude, he was she wasn't around much. She died. So made a large impact, you know, she was cool, she was a good mom, so D tier's warranted. Frida Reese, Frida Rice, whatever you say the name. She's sick. I'm gonna put her in C. I loved her when she was in, in the show. Yeah, she was she was awesome. I liked her a lot. This dude, I think he's there. He I think he said like two lines. Why is he even in here? Same with this dude. Actually, no, this dude, I think he was the, the leader of Rico's, like, you know, segment that they were in. And he was awesome. He was only there for, like, a second before he died. But, yeah, I'll put him in E. He's all right. Grisha. Now, if it was just season three, part two, I'd easily put him in S tier. But after this last season, I'm going to bump him down to A. I love him. But how he treated Zeke, dude, it kind of irked me. So, A tier's warranted for right now. He can, he can make it back up. Love him. He's so awesome. But right now, he's an A. This dude, I think he was a uh, Hanji's right hand man. He died in uh, when Bertolt exploded she and Sheena or like set off the you know colossal nuke. He was awesome. You know he didn't do much but B tier is, is warranted. I love him. Uri. He was cool. He was there for like a second. B tier. You know he's I liked him. He was cool. Now Zeke. This also might be controversial but this is easy. Easy for me. S tier. One of my easy, second favorite characters in the show behind Aaron. I know people hate him. People despise him. Don't care. He's amazing. All right. Now we're going to get into season four stuff. So this is the manga panels, but we've already seen it. So it's all good. Colt. I love him, but I mean, he isn't there much. So he's an easy C tier. Falco though. Falco is way more relevant than Colt. He's an A tier. I love 
Falco. It probably he's one of my favorite characters that were introduced in the new season. So he is awesome. I love him. There's not much I can say wrong with him. He just hasn't been around for as long. So A tier is probably the the best I could give him right now. Oh, I forgot this dude right here. Um, this dude was the I think he was the leader of the military regiment or whatever they're called. Um, I hated him at first because he wanted to kill Aaron, but later on he was sick. He was awesome later on. So I think C tier is good. All right, this is the most controversial character in the entire show, and I don't know if it's that close at all. I I personally do not like her, but people sometimes don't like it when other people don't like her. She has a very large and com committed fan base, but I'm going to have to put her in D tier. She's a re she's relevant. She's super relevant to the story. She's needed, and I feel like she helps the story. But she's a little persistent. I know people are going to be like, oh, but Aaron is too, Aaron is too. I know, but he was the first of his kind. I don't want a second, you know? Plus, I don't want young Aaron again. I want the Aaron now. Dude, he's he's awesome now, but back then, season one, man, dude, he couldn't stop yelling. Stop yelling, dude. Like, it was, he was annoying. And that's what Gabby is right now. So, easy D tier. The only reason I don't put her in E or F is because she's so relevant to the story. But I personally do not like her. All right, I forgot what her name was, um, but she was the person that Sasha saved. I'm going to put her in D tier. Just because, I mean, she, she wasn't there much. She only had, like, an episode dedicated to her but her speech to gabby was one of the greatest things i've ever seen in my life so are all automatically bumps them up to these here azuma bito i think is what her name is um she's in she's an f tier i loved her at first i thought she was awesome but then dude how she was treating mikasa bro i was like i'm gonna fight bro dude she was also awful she was not good um i don't i don't like her attitude no bueno easily an f tier now this person i also forgot her name but she was the person that mikasa saved in season one and she came back in season four um f tier she was i didn't get good vibes from her i know she's on the side that i'm kind of on i'm kind of a jaegerist and she was a jaegerist but i just don't like her she gave me she gave me two far jaegerist vibes where it's like oh i'm Aaron above all else mikasa you're you're dumb but i'm also in love with you so it's like it's weird now that dude i have no idea who that is i have no idea who the next two people are so i don't know if i'm dumb but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna put her there right, i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the warhammer titan next because I mean, we got some we got some spicy ones in the middle here. So um, I'm going to put Laura in. You got sucked, dude. Dude, Willy would have been way better as a Warhammer Titan. Like, dude, I, she was just like, she couldn't fight, dude. It was like a barely even a fight. Mikasa came, messed her up, and then left. You know, <laughs> she was fine, I guess, but F tier. Didn't like her. Onion coupon. I love this dude. Although I don't know if he, I don't know if he fully betrayed them, but he wasn't like, no, no. I think he was still on their side. I'm gonna put him in, in C tier. Just because whenever he's on screen, I love him. You know, he's chill, he's cool, but he hasn't been around much. Um, so E tier is warranted. Piek, she's sick. A tier. She just doesn't give me bad vibes on either side. Like I see her, I saw her like uh it, you know, she was in the where whatever, you know, town they were in when they went to the restaurant, she was just there. And I didn't even feel threatened. Because I I mean she's like she's good while attacking, but she's like she's cool. She's understanding. So A tier is good. I like her a lot. Porco, E. I don't like him, but he's been impressing me as of late. Like, I feel bad for him with the nutcracker scene. Yeah, I'm glad he got humbled because good Lord, he was cocky. But I mean, that was pretty brutal. So I don't like him personally, but he's important. And he, I feel like he'll have some cool moments. Even in the trailer, he already had, you know, that part where he was like screaming. He was, it was pretty cool. So yeah, he's not good. I don't like him, but he's okay. Magus, forgot his name for a second, but I got it. Love him easily a B tier. I hated him at first just because he was so Marleyan. You know, I hate Eldia. Eldian people suck. But then he's he's been turning around and he was more on Eldia's side than Willy Tiber, who is an Eldian, which I thought was pretty cool. And that kind of made me dislike Willy a little bit more. But he, he seems just more open. I, he's cool. Whenever I see him, I get, I get a little excited because I know something cool is about to happen. So Maggot, B tier. He earned it too. Willie, I'm gonna have to put him in C just because his attitude was getting a little on my nerves a little bit, but I mean, he's part of one of the greatest scenes in the entire show and that's all you need to be to be in C tier. You know, if there wasn't for him, there would be no declaration of war and I need that declaration of war in my life. So that's, that's some good stuff. Yelena, I know there's a, also a cult, like a really, really big, you know, fan base around her, but D tier is where I'm gonna put her just because really I would put her in E or F if it wasn't for one thing she did. When that guy was talking mad smack about Sasha and she shot him in the head, greatest moment that she's ever had. Other than that, I think she's a little meh, but um, she's just arrogant, I feel. But I feel like that arrogance is gonna make for some sick ass scenes in season four, part two. So yeah, she's, she's fine, but I don't, I'm not the biggest fan. All right, guys, that is it. That is my official tier list before uh, season four, part two comes out. This might shuffle a little bit. I'm probably gonna do another one after the season ends, just, you know, my updated 
list. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you think this uh, tier list is shit and you guys think yours is better. I mean, mine is correct, but you guys can always think what you guys want. Yeah, it's been ZZ, and I'll see you guys later.